Video games are popular among kids of all ages, but does it have anything to do with violent acts in real life? Our Lauren Kendrick joins us with more. Lauren. Well, we met up with a professor at TAMU who explained his thoughts on the topic. He also tells us what he does to research kids in Laredo who play video games. Call of Duty Black Ops, Grand Theft Auto, and Halo are popular video games among young people. Some say the violence leads to violent acts. I think when these types of uh, crimes happen, people look for some sort of explanation for why did this happen. The department chair of psychology and communication at TAMU says it's his experience that society wants something to blame and to get rid of. Particularly older adults who don't use that media are very quick to blame it. He brings up the recent massacre at the Newtown Elementary elementary school where a 20 year old murdered students and teachers saying video games were blamed in that incident. The William Spangler, a 62 year old man who shot two firefighters in Connecticut and a few others and when these shooters come up that are elderly men or occasionally women, the people don't mention video games at all. Ferguson says the controversy surrounding video games reminds him of a type of entertainment that was popular years ago. Well, I think it's very similar to back in the 1950s when comic books were blamed for juvenile delinquency. He wonders what the stance on video games will be like in 10 or 20 years. Ferguson follows kids in the Laredo area to research the effects of violent video games so it won't be just based on his opinion. So we have them fill out some surveys about the media they watch or games that they play and then have their parents fill out questionnaires about their mental health. Another test they do is to have kids fill in missing letters in words. He says if they spell explode instead of explore, that's a sign of violence. And Ferguson says so far the research conducted does not show any correlation linking video game violence to violence in real life. For KGNS, I'm Lauren Kendrick on air, online, and on your mobile device.